Adobe Image Ready is an essential application for preparing graphics for the World Wide Web. It combines several web graphics tools into one powerful program. With Image Ready, you can optimize your web graphics, create animations, retouch and edit images, and automate image processing. Preparing graphics for the web requires making trade-offs between image quality and file size. Image Ready lets you interactively make these trade-offs and preview the effects. Here's a photograph that I'll save as a JPEG. JPEG is a common file format used on the web for photographs and other continuous tone images. First, I'll choose JPEG in the Optimize palette. I can use low to maximum JPEG compression. I'll choose medium. Next, I'll click the Optimize tab in the image window to preview the JPEG version. The optimized image looks good, even though the file size is much smaller than the original. The original image is 150K, and the optimized image is only 11K. ImageReady also calculates the approximate download time for an image. For example, this 11K JPEG will take about 5 seconds for a visitor to my website to download with a 28.8 modem. GIF is another common graphic file format used on the web. Graphics with few colors or those made up of flat color areas optimize more efficiently as GIF files. Here's a graphic I created in Adobe Illustrator that I'll optimize as a GIF. In the Optimize palette, I select GIF from the Format pop-up menu. Next, I'll choose from the many color palettes available in ImageReady. An image's adaptive palette is made up of the 256 most prominent colors in the image. This image contains a gradient, so the adaptive palette will work best. Now I'll click the Optimize tab to preview the GIF image. It looks good, but the file size is a little larger than I want. I can reduce the file size by reducing the number of colors used by this image. I'll choose 8 from the Colors pop-up menu. The file size is smaller, but the gradient doesn't look colorful and smooth with only 8 colors. I'll try 32 colors. That's a good compromise. Now, I want to see how the colors dither in a web browser. For systems that can display only 256 colors, web browsers use dithering to approximate colors not in the palette. I'll choose Browser Dither from the View menu. Notice the uneven pattern in the green of the logo. Sometimes the dither is acceptable. In this case, it's not. To make sure that the green in the logo won't dither, I'm going to shift the green to its closest match in the web palette. I'll use the eyedropper tool to sample the color in the logo. Notice that the color is selected in the optimized colors palette. To shift it, I'll click the web shift icon. Now the image is ready for my web page. ImageReady provides several ways to automate web image production. To process several images with the same optimization settings, I can use a droplet. First, I select Optimization Settings for an image. Then, I save the settings by dragging the droplet icon to my desktop. Now, when I want to process another image or a folder of images with these settings, I can drag and drop them onto the droplet icon. You can also use ImageReady to easily create animated images for your web pages. Here's an image I created in Adobe Photoshop. When I open it in ImageReady, the layers are preserved. I'll be using the layers and the animation palette to create each frame of the animation. To create an animation, 
I make an adjustment to the layers in my image, create the next frame, and then make another adjustment. Here I'll move the paintbrush into position where I want it to be at the beginning of the animation. Next, I'll click the New Frame button. Notice that the new frame is highlighted. Now I'll move the paintbrush to its final position because I'm going to let Image Ready automatically generate the intermediate frames. In the Animation Palette menu, I choose Tween and then enter 3 for the number of intermediate frames. Image Ready created the three new frames and equally spaced the paintbrush one step apart in each frame. To refine the animation, I can set a delay for individual frames or for all frames. Now I'm ready to view the animation. I can play the animation in Image Ready or I can select the Preview In command to view it in a web browser. Using the power of Image Ready layers, you can create unique and interesting web animations. This online tour has shown just some of the possibilities available to you with Image Ready. For complete information about Image Ready, view the online help. And to explore Image Ready on your own, see the companion step by step tour in the user guide.